morning to you all on this Friday morning. We are still busy with the journey and today I'm going to take you into Romans and we're going to read out of Romans 8 and if you want to do further Bible study you can also read about the Spirit in Galatians 5. Today's theme is life by the Spirit. I'm just going to sum it up for you because it's a lot of verses. It's Romans 8 verse 1 to 17. Now in verse 1 it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So to sum, to sum up that verse, if you walk according to the Spirit of God, if you do what He says, if you have the Spirit in your heart, if you listen to the Spirit, if you accept Him as your Savior, the Spirit, then you have life, and then there's no condemnation for you. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So the spirit gives you freedom. And then we're going to skip to verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. So if you have your if you have the spirit in you the spirit of Jesus Christ if you believe in him then your mind will be set according to the things of the spirit it won't be set on the things of the flesh and then you will live the spirit gives you life we skip to verse 9 but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you and to dwell means he makes his home in you he doesn't come and visit you he's part of you so the spirit becomes part of your life he he inhabits you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his and if christ is in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness so the spirit also helps you to become righteous but again Spirit gives you life. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Again, the spirit of Jesus Christ gives you life. Then we skip to verse 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Again, the Spirit gives you life. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. So then you become a son of God if you are led by the Spirit. For you did not receive the Spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the Spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. So the Spirit makes you a part of God, and it makes you a son or a daughter of God. He, he brings you into the special family of God who created you. And verse 16, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So the Holy Spirit also acknowledges and says and puts it in your mind that you may know, that you may live in this knowledge that you are a child of God, that you're a part of God. And if children, then heirs, we're also heirs through the Spirit of God, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. So the Spirit of God also makes you an heir if you have the Spirit in you. Now these are only a few things that we can tell you from the Spirit. The heading of Romans 8 is free from indwelling sin because the Spirit now dwells in you, not sin. And therefore, the Spirit of God gives you freedom and life and life in abundance. And I'll leave you with that, but you can also read more of it in Galatians 5 from the 16 to 26. May you experience the Spirit of God today. May you be aware of His presence. May you be filled with freedom and life that only comes from him.